It is the 24th of the 10th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Got a lot going on, so uh, buckle up. Strong 6.5 magnitude earthquake strikes Costa Rica. An earthquake initially reported as a 6.5 magnitude on the Richter scale by the USGS has rocked Costa Rica. Local media is reporting magnitudes from 6.2 to 6.4. The epicenter is being reported as being uh, 5 kilometers north of H-O-J-A-N-C-H-A in the province of uh, Juan Caste. So we've got a big earthquake going on in Central America. Strongest ever earthquake hits Quang Nam, Vietnam. A series of tremors measuring 4.6 on the Richter scale broke out in the district at 9.42 Monday the la and lasted for about three seconds, uh, said the district chief. And uh, apparently these earthquakes are happening up against a major uh, dam site and aquifer and uh, weight displacement. So these are man-made earthquakes, some of the biggest ones in Vietnam recorded history. Severe weather and flooding kills eight in South Africa. Uh, South African has been pounded by some hazardous weather over the past few days. The weather first turned severe on Thursday in the southwest of the country. 32 hikers had to be rescued after being trapped by heavy rains uh, on the White Trail near uh, Bredesdorp. So some major uh, going on there too. Sun unleashes X-class flare from volatile sunspot. A new sunspot AR-1598 uh, has erupted again on October 23rd at 322 UT. Earth orbiting satellites detected a strong X1 solar flare. Um, but NASA saying that there wasn't a CME involved with that, uh, but we definitely got some um, magnetics from it. And uh, this thing is swinging our way. So uh, more to come with this, uh, this very active sunspot. Earth changes quick. Locust plague may spread to North Africa as swarms form in Chad. Now this is to go on with the ongoing food crisis that is pretty much happening on every continent. Locusts will probably spread to North Africa in the coming weeks as swarms from Chad are about to gather in Mali and uh, Niger after summer rains, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization said. Uh, the FAO has alerted Algeria, Morocco, Libya to prepare for the arrival of the desert locust swarms. Over to the watchers quick, they've got a story. Uh, wind shift could, could affect sea ice loss and bring more extreme weather to North America and Europe. Uh, Arctic has been experiencing shift in the general patterns of high and low pressures recently, as well as the direction and speed of the winds. These changes may explain some of the dramatic sea ice loss experienced in the Arctic regions. Wind speed and direction are driven by differences in atmos atmospheric pressure. Generally, air moves from the areas of high to low pressure. Uh, the greater pressure, the greater difference between the two areas, and the faster the air moves. Henceforth, the stronger the winds are, kind of thing. Um, interesting read indeed, but no mention of the record-breaking ice buildup in the Antarctic this year. So, uh, crazy things are happening on the poles. Uh... RSOE real quick, flash flooding in Turkey in the northern provinces of Turkey. There's been severe flooding going on there. Uh, we've got a nuclear event in the state of Virginia, uh, North Anna Nuclear Generating Station. Uh, a couple of the nuclear reactors that were just brought back online after maintenance have tripped themselves. They don't know why. Um, very interesting read to that as well. I will attach a link to that. Uh, what else? Got a lethal shark attack in Surf Beach Coastal Region, California. A uh, surfer lost his life to a shark attack. They're not really sure what kind of shark it was. Forest fires in Colorado. Uh, flash flooding in Minnesota. And uh, tornado reports out of California, Sutter, Uba, and Butte counties. Over to the nuclear stuff, let's go ahead and just do the any news. Uh, 
and just in more US tuna contaminated study entire food web including humans may be affected as Fukushima uh, radon nocules spread to the west coast and again we've been warning you about this over and over and over again um, the Pacific Ocean has been and is continuing to be contaminated uh, with uh, nuclear waste and fallout from the Fukushima di disaster and meltdown. This is an ongoing situation that will be going on for a very, 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 very long time. All 12 quakes hit Japan today were near Fukushima Prefecture, and again, Japan is a very seismically um, active area. That entire island is sliding into the Pacific Ocean ever so slowly, and uh, they continue to promote nuclear energy. Sinkhole geologists, this is out of uh, Louisiana, the outer edge of the salt dome, best we can tell, it's gone. Uh, at the location of the cavern, so they're basically they're saying the whole side kicked in from the side of the salt dome into this empty cavern. Now I watched the video on this and when they asked him, well how thick were the walls there, and they were like, well I don't really know, and uh, I don't know if there's any other ones but there's none real close uh, on this particular salt dome kind of thing, so they're still doing the dance around. Um, this thing has collapsed from the side, and henceforth he was saying due to the fracking um, from the, all the pressure of the rocks collapsing at once, that's what brought all the gas up in that big gas plume earlier on. And again, it goes up into the clay and then vertically out throughout the bayou. Uh, TV, giant Louisiana sinkhole now 5.5 acres in size. Quote, I didn't think it had gotten that big, and that was one of the property owners that had been evacuated uh, close to, just to see how informed these people really are on what's going on. Seems we know more about what's going on than the people that live right next door to this thing. Fukushima radiation concerns in Alaska. No clams found in area. Salmon, salmon season canceled. Populations too low. Large mammals with huge sores, and they have videos on this. Uh, of course, the, the radiation is just pouring right down the west coast of the United States and Canada. Nuclear regulatory. Uh, the whole situation remains precarious at Fukushima Daiichi, of course. There's no denying it. Rice exceeds new cesium limit for the first time, 60 kilometers from the Fukushima plant. And again, I say, why are we even letting these farmers plant these crops, let alone harvest them? It's insane. Kindergarten outside evacuation zone closed because of Fukushima radiation threat. Quote, no one can deny the reality. And these people are living in denial, for sure. Government expert on Louisiana sinkhole disaster unprecedented anywhere in the world. Nobody's ever dealt with this before. Not even a decent case study that can tell us how to proceed. There's a video attached to that. And uh, I'm going to leave E&E with uh, Japan nuclear expert. Humans must decommission Fukushima reactors. Robots can't do anything, basically, because the radiation is so high. So we need a bunch of suicide squads to go in there and clean these things up, apparently. Uh, there's a story off the the GG Press GI JI Japan Ministry sticks to geological disposal of radioactive waste. Now this is a read between the lines story. Uh, the Japanese industry ministry on Wednesday expressed a reluctance to adopt a proposal from acad academics that high level radioactive waste to be stored for possibly decades or centuries as an interim measure until new proceeding technologies are developed. Uh, the Science Council of Japan submitted the proposal last month uh, to the Japan Am Atomic Energy Commission of the Cabinet Office. At the meeting of the Commission the same day, however, the Industry Minister explained that most inter internationally endorsed method for dealing with such waste is geological disposal to keep it deep underground for tens of thousands of years. While the Science Council on its proposal did not refer waste for final disposal of high-level radioactive waste, the Ministry stressed at the meeting that the international consensus is that the final disposal message should be clarified. 
So the Japanese are basically saying, um, we're going to come up with all these ways to temporarily store all this stuff, but they're not coming up with this long-term plan. They're saying eventually we're going to bury it somewhere. And finally today, there's a story off of Fukushima Diary. Greenpeace is finally coming out of the closet. Japan's radiation monitoring unreliable, according to Greenpeace. Government radiation monitoring in areas near Japan's crippled Fukushima nuclear power plants are unreliable. Greenpeace charged on Tuesday. Heavy populated areas exposed to 13 times the legal limit. The environment, the environment group said authorities were wasting time cleaning up evacuated areas and should prioritize decontamination efforts in places where people still live, work, and play. Uh, of course, the insanity continues, continues. Um, I was on um, Rad Chicks radio show uh, yesterday. I will be again on tomorrow uh, with Scott Bug and uh, Morning Mayan, Linda. Um, I'm going to try to keep to the news this time a little bit more than just kind of going to let it go. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Christine, uh, please do get well soon. <laughs> we need you back. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.